Hi, um, so we're here with uh, Better Future Factory and the Perpetual Plastic Project, which they brought to our show to kind of demonstrate some plastic recycling in action. So I don't know if you want to just take it away, explain what happens. I'll, I'll at least I'll give it a try. Yeah. Um, what we try to do here is uh, from plastic waste on events. Um, eventually, we'll end up with a 3D print, and this will happen in a couple of steps. Uh, first, we need to clean it and dry it. And I'll turn on this noisy machine. So it's it's really important uh, that the, the resource is really dry because every water bubble will end up in your 3D print. And uh, I'll turn it off for now. So what happens next is we take out cups. And I would like you to, uh, to ask you if you want to do it yourself uh, yes. and show it the strength. Okay. <laughs> so uh, these are all interactive machines uh, to really engage people in the process. Uh, if you turn the handle counterclockwise, yeah. this is the first real step of the recycling process. And what we do next is uh, we really want to have the smallest pieces of plastic possible. So we have a bigger shredder and a smaller one. I won't ask you to do it again, we'll do that <laughs> later. Uh, and the really small piece is going to the next step. And that's an extrusion machine. Which my lovely colleague Bart is uh, showing. <laughs> he is actually making a filament right here. And filament is the word for... Uh, 3D printer ink. What happens is the little piece of plastic gets get transported through this heated chamber. And eventually they get pushed through a really small hole at the end. And this is where the filament comes out. It's a really delicate process actually. And we have been doing this uh, for two and a half years, three years, on events, festivals, and that kind of stuff. But what we're doing next is that we will take the <coughs> we'll take the filament that we made, put it into the 3D printer, and voila, you can print from your plastic waste. So you can turn your valueless crap into valuable products. That's the basic idea. And um, so can you talk a little bit about the different materials that you've tried, what's sure. worked, what hasn't? Um, we have tried many, many different materials. Uh, there actually, there's a sheet here I'll show you. <clears throat> With a coffee stain on it, <laughs> always we work hard as well. <laughs> and so uh, we, all of these materials we tried, not all of them work. Especially PET on small scale like this, it's not possible. <coughs> this is a difficult one. But what we've been doing on a small scale here is uh, also something we do on a large scale now. And that's what we launched, or will launch actually this coming Thursday. Yeah, do you want to talk a little bit yeah. more about your product launch? Of course, <laughs> I would love to. <coughs> so, uh, so, off the back of this machine that we have made, uh, we have talked to many makers, many interesting people, many 3D printer guys and girls and uh, there seemed to be a really big demand for recyclable materials and so we have been researching like one year full on on how to put this on the market <coughs> and uh, we have developed now uh, two filament lines, uh, one made from old dashboards of cars and the other one from old PET bottles. So we industrially recycle uh, uh, these resources into filament for 3D printers. Great! Yeah, And we actually won <laughs> the awesome award today. <laughs> the best development in materials for 3D printing. And that's what we ought to do, is to really rethink on how we make stuff. So, thank you very much.